Have you ever wondered how closely our human brain resembles a computer? An intriguing question, isn't it? Well, let's dive into it. In many ways, our brain and a computer have striking similarities. Both are systems that process information, making sense of inputs and producing outputs. Just like how a computer uses binary code to encode data, our brains use electrical impulses to transmit messages. In contrast, traditional computer systems are linear, with processes running in sequence one after the other. This makes them incredibly efficient at tasks that require speed and precision, like crunching large numbers or running complex algorithms. But when it comes to tasks that require a more nuanced understanding, like recognizing a face in a crowd or understanding the nuances of language, computers fall short. And it's not just about capability, it's also about efficiency. Our brains, despite their immense processing power, only use about 20 watts of power. That's less than a small household light bulb. Compare that to a supercomputer, which can use up to several megawatts of power, and you start to see just how incredible our brains really are. So yes, our brains and computers are similar in some ways, but in many ways, they are worlds apart. Our brains are an awe-inspiring testament to the power of nature, capable of feats that no human-made machine can match. Indeed, the human brain is a marvel of nature, but what if we could design computers to mimic its structure and function? Imagine the possibilities. Hang tight as we delve into the fascinating world of neuromorphic computing in the next segment. Enter the world of neuromorphic computing, a technology that aims to emulate the human brain. The birth of this revolutionary concept can be traced back to the late 1980s when a visionary scientist named Carver Mead first introduced the idea. Mead, a pioneer in his field, saw the potential in creating a technology that could mimic the very organ that sets humans apart from other species, the brain. At its core, neuromorphic computing is the practice of designing circuits, systems, and algorithms inspired by the structure and function of biological brains. Mead's work laid the foundation for this branch of technology, but the road to making it a reality was far from smooth. The initial challenges were nothing short of monumental. The complexity of the human brain with its billions of neurons and trillions of synapses posed a daunting task for the scientists and researchers of the time. The technology available in the late 80s and early 90s was simply not advanced enough to replicate such an intricate system. Moreover, the understanding of the brain's functions was still in its infancy, adding another layer of complexity to the task. Yet despite these hurdles, the scientific community did not give up. They persevered, fueled by the potential benefits that a successful neuromorphic computer could bring. The initial limitations became stepping stones, pushing the boundaries of what was considered technologically possible. Over time, with advancements in technology and a deeper understanding of the brain's workings, the concept of neuromorphic computing began to take shape. It moved from being a distant idea to a tangible reality, opening up a world of possibilities in the field of artificial intelligence and beyond. The journey of neuromorphic computing from a concept to reality is indeed a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The birth of this technology marked a significant milestone in our quest to understand and replicate the most complex organ in the human body. Neuromorphic computing didn't just happen overnight, it has been a journey of evolution and growth. The first seeds of neuromorphic computing were planted in the mid-20th century, with the advent of the transistor and the integrated circuit. These technological breakthroughs allowed us to create electronic devices that could mimic biological systems, albeit in a very rudimentary way. In the last decade, the field has been turbocharged by the rise of artificial intelligence and machine learning. These technologies have brought about a revolution in neuromorphic computing, allowing us to create systems that can learn and adapt in a way that was previously unimaginable. Today we see neuromorphic computing being used in a range of applications, from autonomous vehicles to advanced robotics, and even in the analysis of complex data sets. Technology has come a long way from its humble beginnings and it continues to evolve at a rapid pace. But the story doesn't end here. With the ongoing advancements in AI and machine learning, we can expect to see even more incredible developments in neuromorphic computing in the years to come. The potential of this technology is vast and we've only just begun to scratch the surface. As we can see, neuromorphic computing has come a long way, but the journey is far from over. Today, neuromorphic computing stands at the forefront of technology, promising a future where computers can think and learn like us. 
neuromorphic computing has made significant strides in recent years, moving from mere theory to practical application across numerous fields. In healthcare, for instance, these brain-inspired circuits empower devices to interpret complex biomedical data, aiding early detection and personalized treatment of diseases. In surveillance and security, they help in facial and pattern recognition, enhancing safety measures. The tech industry is also getting a taste of this revolutionary technology. From voice recognition to predictive text, neuromorphic chips are making our digital interactions more intuitive and efficient. They are the secret sauce in some of our favorite gadgets, including smartphones and smart home devices. In the realm of autonomous vehicles, neuromorphic computing brings us closer to a future where self-driving cars make reliable, human-like decisions in real time. Imagine a world where road accidents caused by human error become a thing of the past. But as with any technological advancement, neuromorphic computing faces its share of challenges. The complexity of the human brain is such that we are still far from fully understanding how it works. This limits how much we can mimic its structure and function in silicon. Energy efficiency is another concern. While neuromorphic chips are more efficient than traditional microprocessors, they still consume a significant amount of power. Researchers are on a quest to develop chips that can perform complex computations with less energy. Despite these challenges, the future of neuromorphic computing looks bright. With ongoing research and development, we may soon see computers that not only mimic but surpass human cognitive abilities. They could solve problems beyond our current comprehension, opening up new horizons in science, medicine, and artificial intelligence. The future of neuromorphic computing looks promising with limitless possibilities. To sum up, neuromorphic computing represents a paradigm shift in the way we view and utilize computer systems. It's the dawn of an era where our machines are not just tools, but entities that mirror the complexity and versatility of the human brain. We began this journey by drawing a comparison between the human brain and traditional computers. While they both process information, the human brain's structure and function, with its countless neurons and synapses, is far more complex than any computer system we have developed so far. As we trace the evolution and growth of neuromorphic computing, we saw how it has grown from being a theoretical concept to a tangible reality. We have witnessed how neuromorphic chips have been developed and used in various applications from robotics to data analysis. This growth has not only been rapid but also transformative, reshaping our understanding of what a computer can do. In our discussion on the current state and future prospects of neuromorphic computing, we delved into how this technology is currently being implemented and how it might shape our future. From self-driving cars to advanced AI systems, the potential applications are extensive and groundbreaking. Indeed, the journey of neuromorphic computing is a fascinating one, and it's a journey that we are all a part of. We are not just observers but participants in this extraordinary shift. As we continue to explore and understand this field, we will undoubtedly witness more exciting developments. So, stay tuned, stay curious, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos.